tomorrow is the big day that is our KSA 2025 examination the day for which we have been working hard for a long time right from months before we have started our preparation so now let's make sure that we don't mess it up in the examination hall so in this video I'll be telling you some simple but powerful tips on how to attempt the paper how to manage your time effectively and how to avoid that last minute blunders okay so it is not about what you know but exactly how you use it in the examination hall to improve your scores so let's dive in here okay so in today's video first uh just a minute yes so in today's video we'll be talking about the exam timetable omr sheet how to attempt paper attempting strategy common mistakes that you should be avoiding and pro tips for the exam day okay let's get started with the first thing that is exam timetable all of you will be knowing here so on 16th of april first paper physics you have from 10 30 to 11 50 am and chemistry you have 2 30 to 3 50 okay and uh, in april 17 maths you have 10 30 to 11 50 and bio you have 2 30 to 3 50 now uh, here if you remember you will be entering the examination hall at 10 20 at 10 30 you will be given question paper and 10 30 to 10 40 again you will be given time to fill the mr sheets and from 10 40 you will be starting your answer writing okay so exactly you will be getting 70 minutes okay to solve the paper okay 70 minutes to solve the paper okay now uh, coming to omr sheet tips this is very very important you know this is an online examination pen and paper based examination you will be given a omr sheet where you have to answer the questions so in this omr sheet you will have to fill the omr sheet after every 10 to 15 questions so many students what they do is they solve one question and then do they do omr they again solve the question and then they solve omr so that is not a good strategy and some other students what they do they solve the entire paper and at last they start bubbling the answers that is also not a good strategy what you should be doing you should be solving 10 to 15 questions and after that start bubbling them again 10 to 15 questions then start bubbling them so in this way you will Will have a track okay uh, that you are solving the questions and you are uh, bubbling the answers also you are not keeping it till the end where there is like five minutes left and you are bubbling it okay so that is the first thing next at least keep two black ball pens or sorry you can keep black or blue so at least keep two pens so that in case the ink finishes or you want an extra pen something happens you have a backup for that and lastly practice omr at home so today you can just have a small 15 minutes of practice how to bubble it how to uh, like you should shade it in such a way that the shade doesn't go out right so please practice that for 10 to 15 minutes that's a very easy task you can do it next coming to paper attempting strategy so start with the strongest topics for example you are very good in physical chemistry or you are very good in organic chemistry so once you see the paper wherever you find organic questions physical questions whichever is your strong start solving that first so this will help you to boost your confidence you will be positive throughout the exam you won't you will not panic and you will do better in the examination okay so always start with the strongest topics next you have to use a three round method in first round what you have to do all the questions which you are having no doubt you are absolutely sure about those questions just do them and don't spend any time in the doubtful questions okay just solve all those things where you are very confident in the second round do those things where you have like suppose some lengthy questions are there calculations are there or you know the uh, concept but your answer you are not getting in the option some calculation error has happened or something like that where you are sure how to do but it will take some time you have left it for uh, doing it later finish that and in the round three do those questions on which you don't have any idea and make a smart guessing strategy there use it and solve the smart answer there okay and next don't get emotionally stuck on one question so if you are seeing that on one particular question you should not spend more than two to three minutes okay please don't spend more than two minutes three minutes also i'm saying it is on the higher scale 
on the first round when you are solving for the first and second round do not spend more than 2 minutes on single question okay that will be uh, too much of time waste and you will not know that the time has ended and your questions are still pending so please don't do this mistake and solve all the questions within 1 to 2 minutes next third uh, fourth point that is common time mistakes that we should avoid in the examination spending too much time on the tough questions okay so you know that that question will take time and you are doing those questions and uh, maybe that you got the answer finally correctly but at this point of time you would be losing many other easy questions which you could have solved at that time because that one question you have taken 10 15 minutes that will only give you one mark if in that 10 15 minutes you could have solved 5 to 10 other questions you would have got 5 marks more right so do not spend more time on the tough questions from the beginning keep it for the end next guessing blindly in panic so as i told you don't have any blind guess because there is no negative marking for every question first try elimination method eliminate two options and from the two remaining options make a smart guess okay don't just put anything for blindly Next, not keeping a track of the time. So be always aware there will be a clock attached in every classroom. So please have an eye on the on the question. So you have a target. You can have a target like first 15 questions you would have solved by 20 minutes. Okay. Next 15 questions you would be solving by 20 minutes. So some plan like that you can make or every question by 30 minutes you should have solved 30 questions or at least 25 questions. So like this one target should be there in your mind and make sure that you you are keeping track with the clock every uh, every like frequently next leaving omr filling for the last minute please do not do this mistake i have already told you how to fill the omr sheet after every 10 to 15 questions start filling the omr sheet again solve 10 to 15 questions again fill the omr sheet okay next exam day the day when you are going to the exam what all things you should be focusing pro exam tips pro tips for the exam day so on this day uh, this is actually not allowed please don't wear any watch okay that is not allowed for your exam stay calm if one paper doesn't go well because you are having two papers on the same day suppose your physics paper is not going well then also stay calm and have hopes for the next chemistry examination okay so two papers you are going to write on a single day that between the point that is after physics and before chemistry that point should is very critical please do not mess it up do not panic at that point of time next sleep well before the exam so that is tonight please go to sleep by 10 30 11 and have a proper 7 to 8 hours of sleep next have proper breakfast this is very important to keep yourself uh, active in the exam so please have proper healthy food not any oily uh, food just have a light breakfast so that you are not hungry in the examination and your brain is working and also stay hydrated okay stay hydrated okay clear fine next uh, yes so students these are your uh, major paper attempting strategy that is you should have basic thing is do not waste too much time on a single question that's the first main thing that you should be focusing next do not keep your omr sheets till the end start filling the omr sheet after solving every 10 to 15 questions and third one is have a track of the time it's not that you are just solving in your own way and the time is on its own so after every 10 to 15 minutes please have a check on the time and do not spend too much time on the difficult questions you will lose marks you will waste your time right so these are some important paper attempting strategies and if you follow this you will definitely able to manage the examination well manage your time effectively and you will not be doing silly mistakes or blunders panicking these all things you can be avoided okay all the very best students and i know all of you will do very good all the very best